this lesson is about a questionnaire about rational functions. Let's go to the first one. How do you find the domain of uh, rational functions? The keywords for finding domain of rational functions is a uh, original rational function. Because sometimes, if you factor the numerator and then the denominator, then you have the common factor you have to simplify by reducing the common factor. Before simplifying the rational functions, we call that function is the original rational function. So for the domain of rational function, you have to make the denominator of an original rational function not equal to zero. Then solve for x. You will find the domain for the rational function. So just remember that domain, you have to make sure you get the answer from original rational function. So how do you find the x in the sets or roots or zeros of uh, rational functions? You just make sure the numerator of a simplified rational function equal to zero and then solve for x. You will get the x in the set or roots or zeros of these uh, rational functions. The reason why is for fraction, for example, a over b equal to zero, then the only way you make fraction equal to zero is to make the numerator equal to zero. That's the reason we have to make numerator of for simplified, make sure it's a simplified rational function equal to zero, then solve for x. So how do you find y-intercept of a rational function? Basically, you need to do it just like uh, f of uh, zero. So plug zero into that either original or simplify. But I prefer simplify because it's uh, easier. So how do you find the vertical asymptote of uh, rational functions? If there's no common factor, the vertical asymptote line will be the same as uh, the domain. But sometimes, you have common factor, you have to simplify the rational functions. Then the vertical asymptote line will not be the same as the domain. So just remember you have to make denominator of simplified rational functions equal to zero. Then solve for x. Then x equals solutions will be the vertical asymptote line for the rational function. Next question, how do you find the horizontal asymptote of uh, rational functions? In this pre class, we need use limits to figure that out. So take limit of uh, rational functions as x approaches infinity, you will get three answers. One equal to zero, that means y equals zero will be the horizontal asymptote line. And when the limit equals constant, then y equals constant will be the horizontal asymptote line. If you get the limit is infinity, then it's no horizontal asymptote line for these rational functions. How do you find the whole of uh, rational functions? First of all, you need to check do you have common factor? So if there is a common factor, then there is a whole for rational functions. You make the common factor equal to zero. And after you get x value, then plug it into simplified rational functions. Then the coordinate x and f of x will be the whole for rational function. The keywords over here still simplified rational functions. How do you find the oblique asymptote, or sometimes we call slant asymptote of rational functions? So only when numerator is one more degree than the denominator, there is an oblique asymptote for rational functions. There are two ways to get oblique asymptote for rational function. First one is the synthetic division, and then the other is long division. Normally, when 
linear function as denominator, try to use the synthetic division to figure out the oblique asymptote line, because that's easier. So after you use synthetic division and a long division, find out the quotient, then y equals quotient, that will be the oblique asymptote line for rational functions. Thank you.